All right, our next example, example two for kinematics is a smoothly rolling uh, body beginning at the position xi. So the subscript means the initial position, xi. And actually, we don't really want to do rolling. So we will eventually talk about rolling motion, very complicated. Right now, we just want to imagine the body just moving. So our demo is going to be Hal again. And the reason Hal is a nice shiny object is you can't tell that he's rolling. That's the idea. Now, Hal has been around a while and getting some rust spots there. So, you know, I know how you feel. I, trust me, I get it. So you might be able to tell that it's rolling, but just pretend that you can't tell that it's rolling because I can't afford another steel ball. They're kind of expensive. Okay, so we're gonna move just like that. There's your demo. So let's think, Hal started here. We'll call this XI. We'll call this the origin. And there you go, uniform motion. And it's not rolling. It is, uh, we'll just say moving. And we'll ignore the rolling, okay? So we saw it, now let's first graph it. We're gonna describe the motion with equations and graphs. So for the graph, we're gonna do the same thing. It's gonna be time on the horizontal axis, the x position on the vertical axis. We know that at time zero, we always put the origin here, zero, zero. We know at time zero, it started at xi. So you would plot it like this. You'd say, you know you started here. So at time equals zero, it was there. And then you could think, we're telling the story of Hal's motion. So we had one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, and if we were to plot where it went, we know that in time from zero to one, it got a little bit higher, right? So I could put a mark there, a little bit farther along the x-axis. And in another second, it got a little bit farther along the x-axis. And in the third second, it got a little bit farther. And after four seconds, it got a little bit farther. And when we say smoothly, we kind of mean a eh, more accurate might be uniformly. Might be a more descriptive word. So if it's moving uniformly, that basically just means it's going about the same amount of distance x in the same amount of time. That's what we mean by that. So if you have something that is uniformly moving, these points together make a line. Right? So I could draw a nice line through those points. That is the kinematics graph for something moving uniformly. So the property we're going to talk about is that the body has velocity. Velocity. So if we had to define velocity, it is the rate of change of position with time. We're going to talk about several kinds of velocities, but that is the basic idea. It's how fast is the position changing in time. The symbol for velocity looks like this. Now, I don't know if you're going to know what that is. That is a cursive V. I know they don't teach cursive anymore. They used to teach us how to write in cursive. So if you don't know what weird symbol that is, that's my cursive V. I always use the cursive symbol when I'm talking about velocity. I use the regular symbol when I write the word. Okay? Now, here's an example I can prove to you. This is my, uh, one of my fourth grade cursive assignments. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. We got a good idea. We got a good cursive in the fourth grade. Now here's the grade. What? Give me a break. Oh, I was so mad about that. It just destroyed my fourth grade GPA. But I don't hold grudges, so I'm completely over it. Um, so this is the symbol, cursive V. The unit, it's in meters per second. And we'll get more into the math of it uh, in a minute. I just want to point out another thing. It is the slope. If you've taken some algebra and done some plots and you know what slope is, it is the slope of the xt graph. And by that I mean the kinematics plot that you make or the graph you make when you put t on the horizontal axis like you always do and you plot position on uh, the vertical axis. Okay? So if we were to take this line and find its slope, that would be equal to v. Okay? So now next we'll move on and do this a little bit more mathematically.